Hello everybody, Roxborough, Person County and surrounding area. We are here today with a special guest from our hospital to talk about some important subjects and we uh, hope you will give us your attention for just a few moments because we've got exciting things to talk about today. We have Patrice Gibson with us from the hospital. Uh, she is uh, Director of Marketing and uh, Physician Recruiting. The Physician relations, right? Both. Okay. Physician relations and recruiting. I, I, got, my wor <laughs> I got my words tangled there. So glad to have you oh, at the studio. You. And there are so, oh, first of all, I want to thank you and the hospital uh, for the wonderful health fair that was held on April 23rd. Yes. Oh, it was, it was terrific. Oh, thank you. It was kind of a wet day. But good turnout, nevertheless, yeah. and look forward to, to next year and having the opportunity to be there again. It was a ter terrific day. Thank you. Wonderful services. It, we do feel like it, we owe it to the community to provide a health fair at least once a year and, and just provide an outlet for them to come in and, and see the hospital and see the improvements we're making and see the services we offer and be able to have those interactions with the staff. Because um, sometimes you go to the hospital, you don't necessarily want to go to the hospital. So this gives you a way to go to the hospital and really navigate and learn what we have um, mm -hmm. to if you ever need future services. I'm ashamed of myself. I'll slap myself on the hand. I forgot to wear my button today. Oh. I got a button when I was there for the for the health fair and it says I am making communities healthier. Yes. And that's the word at Person that's, Memorial. Yeah, that's our mission is making communities healthier. And everything that we do comes back to giving patients great care and making our community healthier. We have so many things we want to share today. This certainly sounds exciting. Mission, Vision, High Five, and Duke Life Point Promise. Quite a few words, but very meaningful. And uh, maybe you could kind of explain uh, about Mission, Vision, High Five. Absolutely. And the promise. Yes, yes. Well, you know, our mission at Person Memorial is making communities healthier. And that everything that we do centers around that. And we want to make sure that we are the type of place that people want to choose to come to get health care and where people want to work and where physicians want to practice. We really want to be that. And we have these high five guiding principles and we do everything where we're guided by delivering excellent patient care and high quality patient care, supporting our physicians, creating an excellent workplace where people want to work, being a leader in the community, and being fiscally responsible. So everything that we do centers around those things and we feel like if we keep to those things we know we'll provide excellent patient care and in the end we will fulfill our mission of making communities healthier. It is a a wonderful vision and and is happening as yes. we speak it today is. and yes. every day uh, those those five principles mm -hmm. oh my and uh, we thank uh, we thank the the folks at the hospital for seeing the needs and establishing a vision and I like the name High Five. Yeah, they, that's that, that's such a a, an, an, a a today's term, isn't it? It is. It is. But um, but we feel like those those five things are the biggest, most important things we can do, and the biggest contribution we can make. So I'm going to give you a high five. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> we love our hospital. We say this all the time, and the care that is very, is very special, and. We thank everybody at the hospital for their devotion and their uh, sticking together and working hard and uh, just appreciate it. Yeah, well, you know, that's that's our goal here is to serve this community mm -hmm. and make this community healthier. And we want Person County to know that we can serve their needs here in Person County. Yeah. You know, whether it's imaging, whether they need an MRI, whether they need any imaging services, we can provide those services same day, next day. They don't have to go down the road. We have those services right here. If they have GI issues like heartburn or irritable bowel syndrome, we can serve those those needs. So we everything from our imaging and our, our gastrointestinal to our cardiology and our general surgery, pretty much everything you need, we can serve here in Person County. 
fish. GI does encompass quite a few areas. Elaborate on that a little bit, if you would. You, you touched on it already. Yeah. Well, I mean, people usually struggle with either upper GI issues or lower GI issues. Mm -hmm. And so we have person gastroenterology, and our physicians are phenomenal. So we can serve those, everything from, from those needs and those issues that people will be dealing with to whether if they need their annual colonoscopy. Um, you know, colon sure. cancer is preventable, and if it's caught early, it can really make the difference of someone's life and their longevity of their life. And oh, so, um, yeah. yeah, so colonoscopies are huge. It's, it's so important to get that when, when you turn 50. Just go and get it. I know it's not the most glamorous experience, but it's so worth it yeah. um, if, they, if they get in there and they find something. And uh, the, the imaging portion that uh, you mentioned, uh, it is so much improved over the past. Uh, person Memorial is up to the times. Absolutely, yeah. We we have state of the art equipment. Our new MRI, mm -hmm. um, it's it's a state of the art piece. It serves everything we need. It's a, a large bore opening, so it helps with claustrophobia. It's also a short bore, so that you're not in the tunnel as long, which also helps mm -hmm. with claustrophobia. Yeah. It can hold up to 550 pounds. So it's it's a state of the art piece that helps um, with more accurate and quicker testing for mm -hmm. our patients. So it, it helps with those creature comforts of not having to deal with the claustrophobia, but it also gets their tests done quickly and accurately. And then they're able to get the results back to them in, in a timely manner as well. So proud. Mm -hmm. that's, that's wonderful. Something special is, is coming up. The Women's Heart Luncheon and some terrific uh, folks will be speaking at this luncheon and it's coming up quickly in fact, in just about a week, it's, it's happening. Week. Yes. Could you tell us what's going to take place yeah, that day? Yeah, absolutely. So, so what happened was we had, you know, in February we had Heart Month. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows National Heart Month, and everybody was wearing red and going red for women and things like that. And so we wanted to do a luncheon. And we looked at um, what was happening in, in Person County um, centered around heart disease. You know, mm -hmm. heart disease is the number two killer of men and women. Oh, excuse yeah. me, the number one killer of men and women. It's the number two killer here in Person County. So it's the number one killer in America for men and women. And it's the number two killer right here. Right here at home. Yes. And when I started talking to people in the community about what do we do for Heart Month? What do we do about, you know, what, how do we educate about cardiovascular disease and, and heart disease and so forth? And it just didn't really seem like there was a lot going on. There just, there wasn't a lot of education. There wasn't a lot that we did in February for Heart Month. And I thought, gosh, we really, the conversation needs to be had. We, we need to start the conversation. We need Person County residents to understand the importance of knowing their risk factors for heart disease, knowing what their modifiable risk factors are of lifestyle, um, and knowing what they can't fix that's hereditary but they need to manage. And it's, it's such an... That's the key word, isn't it? Manage. Absolutely. And so it's, it really was a conversation that I felt like needed to happen and we needed to start talking about it because if it's the number two killer in Person County, that's a big deal. Yes, it is. That's a big deal. And I know we hear about a lot of other um, you know, health issues in this county, and, and there's, a, there's a big emphasis on a lot of other things like cancer. Um, but heart disease is right there with it. And so that's what we, we decided we wanted to be our thing. I mean, we have Dr. Tori Bradshaw, our cardiologist, no, person cardiologist. Love her to death. Right? She's, yeah. your, she's your cardiologist, right? Yeah. Um, and we just, I, I went to her and I said, listen, I feel like we need to find a way to educate our community, and specifically women. And the reason why is because um, heart disease is what's known as a silent killer, um, and meaning that usually people don't survive a heart attack or a stroke, um, and especially women are usually not survivors because their arteries and veins are smaller, and so it affects them even greater than a man when they have a heart attack or a stroke. And a lot of times they don't, they don't have, have one and then recover, and they're a survivor. Mm -hmm. it, that, that's it for them. And so we, we feel like it's really important to educate women on knowing their signs and symptoms sure. of a heart attack and stroke, being able to recognize and identify them because women present completely differently than men do. So men usually have pain in their arm and they, they can feel it localized uh -huh. in their chest area. Women will have what feels like indigestion. They might have what feels like anxiety. They might have jaw pain. And they would never attribute these things to, I'm having a heart attack. Plus, you know, we're so busy being moms and wives and taking care of everybody that we don't have time to be sick. We don't have time for anything to be wrong. And so we will sometimes go, okay, and then, oh, I feel better. And then we're right back at it again. Uh -huh. Instead of stopping and going, wait, there might be something wrong. 
And so we really feel like this is our, our time and our moment to educate the women in our community that they've got to take care of themselves first if they want to be able to take care of everyone else. You know, you've just educated me completely. I, I had no idea of these circumstances it went about the smaller arteries and, and so forth. I had no idea, no, no, no clue. And I'm not a cardiologist, so you'll have to come to the luncheon and that's Dr. Right. Bradshaw <laughs> will tell you more. But that's kind of my 30,000 you know, foot view of when I, when I try to talk to people about it. Um, you know, not all of us are cardiologists, and how do we, how do we explain what our, our wonderful doctors know in a way that our community can understand and recognize in the event that they are experiencing those things? Uh, are there seats still available? There are a few. A so, few. Okay. yes, you have to call me and reserve your spot. It's free to the public. It is a free Wonderful. community event. Yes, our sponsors, um, we have North State Medical. Uh -huh. um, has actually partnered with us and they yeah. are what we call our community sponsor um, and so North State Medical really believes in, in what we're trying to accomplish here and they wanted to partner with us like partner with us and so it's Purse Memorial Hospital and North State Medical that's that's going to be um, sponsoring good. this event and we have a few other sponsors like Piedmont Community College mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> the North Carolina Prevention um, is actually a partner as well and um, Tabitha Horner is one of our speakers so we have Dr. Bradshaw and Tabitha Horner um, who also works at North State but she's also in charge of this North Carolina Prevention Center and so that the North Carolina Prevention Center is all about prevention and how do we educate on the prevention side mm -hmm. of heart disease and even on diabetes if someone has diabetes how does that play in to heart disease because a lot of people don't realize the correlation with that so she will be talking more about that at the luncheon and um, Dr. Bradshaw will be talking more about the luncheon. So it'll be very educational. It'll be a great event. We're going to have vendors. Um, it's May 16th at the Kirby upstairs. And um, it'll start at 1130. And we will have vendors that people can um, visit ahead of time. The luncheon will start at noon and be done by 1. For the uh, few remaining seats, how, what's, what's your phone number? To? Yes. Okay, so they're going to call me at 336-503-503-5799. Uh -huh, Okay. 503-5799. I only have about, I would say, 10 seats left. So, wow. and they're first come, first serve. So give me a call and let's get your name on the list if you want to be there. Good, good. Um, we, we, we don't want to leave the interview today without talking about the emergency room and um, the wonderful services, the, the less wait time, mm -hmm. and good things are happening. And... I, I believe I met um, Dr. Haresh Kuthard. Uh-huh. Yes, he's and our we, new medical we, director. We want to, we want to uh, interview him, too. We're planning on doing that good, still. Good, good. And uh, he has a lot to do with the emergency room, doesn't he? Absolutely. Yeah, our emergency room is doing an amazing job. Um, yes, we have shorter wait times now. If we're during peak times, yeah. <laughs> then, of course, it's going to be. Yes. Sure. But... Um, across the board our wait times are still less than if you went somewhere else so um, we are very proud of that uh, Dr. Cathard is our new medical director of our emergency department and he is doing a tremendous job I mean he's only been there like a month or so and he's already doing a tremendous job so um, he has brought improvements and he's been helping um, to really just ele take us to the next level and really um, elevate our, our capabilities and, yeah. and help us grow um, and so it's been it's been tremendous and then that coupled with our chest pain accreditation you know, with the fact that we're chest pain accredited is a yeah. big deal. And I don't think people understand that. And that also ties into the whole cardiology and the whole heart disease thing, where if you present to the ER with chest pain, we can diagnose and determine whether or not you're having a heart attack and then immediately start providing life-saving, um, you know, care. And yeah. then if you need elevated care, because of our alliance with Duke, we can get you down to Duke and on the cath table quicker than if you drove yourself down to Duke yourself. Nice, nice. Now, um, if someone is hearing the interview on the radio or TV, either one, and they say, well, I, I, I've heard the brief description, but I want to talk to somebody at the hospital. There are people there to consult and, and, and 
explain, Absolutely. answer questions. Absolutely, yes. And you always want to start with your primary mm -hmm. um, because okay. your primary is going to then refer you to the specialists. Right. Okay. Um, so, like, you can't just walk in and get an MRI. You have to have a doctor's order to get right. an MRI, you know, or, um, or any of the other imaging services. Um, but, yes, you can absolutely call and, and get with your primary, and then they will guide you in the direction of a specialist um, for whatever area that you need. Nice, nice. All right, we uh, we we've covered several things today. The the Duke um, the Mission Vision High Five Duke Life Point Promise, and uh, we've talked about uh, GI and imaging and the Women's Heart Luncheon. Anything that you can think of that we we want to mention before we leave? No, it's I mean we the, our goal is to help this community, and our goal is to make this community healthier. And so anything that we can do to make this community healthier, that is our, that's our number one mission. And we are going to do everything within our power to provide the best, excellent care we can at Person Memorial to every patient that comes through our doors. Thank you for being so proactive, and it's, and it's so, so beneficial, and, and, and somebody is thinking, aren't they? And, and thinking, what can we do mm -hmm. to better the community and the people who live here and services uh, that we can provide and I'm excited. We are too. Yeah, we look to a great future. I mean, we're, that's what we're looking at is where do we want to be in five years? Where do we want to be in ten years? Sure. What is the impact we want to make to the next generation? Thank you so much. We've enjoyed this little time together. We'll do this again? Absolutely. And we want to interview other people, which we will be doing, but um, uh, it's good to have you, Thank you. out. And um, it's Patrice Gibson, um, Director of Marketing and Physician Relations and Recruiting. And Recruiting. <laughs> Busy day for you. A little bit. Occasionally. That's all right. It keeps it fun. <laughs> it is fun. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. you being here with us. Thank you. We'll, uh, and folks, um, you'll be able to see this more than one time, and we'll be uh, letting you know when you can see it and hear it on the radio. You'll be able to hear the audio portion on the radio. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. And keep it going. I will. All right.